you have a stubborn jar that won't open? No problem, duct tape's got you covered. Are you having trouble with splinters, warts, or blisters? Or maybe your house is infested with flies and you need a quick fly trap? Or you need to patch the hole in the screen door where the flies came in in the first place? Well, duct tape can take care of that too. Or possibly you might be lost in space while running out of breathable air. Okay, Jack, tear that piece of tape down the middle lengthwise. All right. Hold on here. Well, duct tape has you covered there too. So the next time you climb aboard a state-of-the-art carbon composite Boeing 787 for your 16-hour flight from Sydney to Los Angeles and you see the wings are covered in duct tape, there's no need to fear because duct tape is here next on Maximus. Greetings everybody, Maximus here. Still doing battle with the common cold. Oh, and subscriber and fan of the show, Mark Mooney, you might want to stick around till the end because I have something special for you. Well, recently, these pictures went viral on the Google machine and the interwebs. As 787 passengers the world over had been concerned, well, terrified is more like it, when they started seeing 787's state-of-the-art Boeing jetliners covered in duct tape, especially on the wings. And as you can see here, the 787 duct tape budget at that airline must be quite extensive as they appear to apply the universal sticky stuff quite liberally. But the 787 duct tape mystery appears to have finally been solved. However, many of you still may not be thrilled with the explanation. From news.com.au Viral pictures of duct tape on a plane initially thought to be holding its wing together have actually been revealed as having a far less worrisome purpose. The tape made for an alarming sight for Australian opera singer David Wakeham as he just boarded a 787 Dreamliner last week when he peered out of his window and was quite alarmed at the sight of what appeared to be massive amounts of duct tape holding the wing together. And seriously, who could blame him? Look at this guy. With hair like that, I'd be worried too. Man, this dude is well quaffed. So after getting over the shock of seeing his 787 held together by tape, and obviously getting his meticulous beard trimmed, like any other person in the 21st century, he immediately shared a photo on Twitter where it later went viral. Along with the picture his post read, when choosing your favorite airline, choose wisely. Profits before safety, he added. The photo was also shared on Reddit. While at the time he joked the tape was being used for temporary repairs, it has since been identified as a commonly used aircraft repair tape called speed tape, which I'm pretty sure is still just duct tape. However, according to experts and the internet, the speed tape was most likely used to cover peeling paint. Well, covering peeling paint sounds kind of like a repair to me. But as a matter of fact, according to information from the U.S. Department of Transportation, the Boeing 787-9 planes have been identified as being prone to paint adhesion failures due to ultraviolet ray damage. More recently, an Air New Zealand spokesperson told the UK paper that paint peeling on the wings of Boeing 787-9 aircraft was a global problem. Which, in fact, it has been, because if you Google 787 and duct tape, you'll get pictures from all over the world. And if this sounds familiar to you and you follow this channel, you know I have covered quite extensively the ongoing dispute between Airbus and Qatar Airways over their similar carbon composite A350s having an even more serious paint and skin problem that led to the grounding of all of Qatar's fleet of A350s, which led to both companies countersuing each other for hundreds of millions of dollars. However, the seemingly widespread issue has been downplayed by Boeing, which has made attempts to alleviate concerns of travelers about the tape concerned with structural integrity issues. A Boeing spokesperson has been reassuring airlines and passengers that the peeling paint does not affect the structural integrity of the wing and does not affect the safety of flight. The FAA says that the only potential risk posed by peeling paint was to airline staff when using vacuum type fall arrest protection systems, which is basically a vacuum suction cup that attaches to the wing that workers can attach safety harnesses to. 
Also, the Australian Civil Aviation Safety Authority said no risk from the wing repairs was posed to passengers when tape repairs were made to the aircraft. A spokesperson said any repairs including temporary tape repairs must be made in accordance with approved maintenance instructions. So just as is the case with the Airbus and their A350s, the 787 II is suffering composite growing pains. And to be fair, composite skin on commercial aircraft is still basically in its infancy, so I guess it's to be expected. But you would think with all the engineering that has gone into both the 787 and the A350 aircraft, the engineers would have thought of this long before they launched the planes. However, However. With that said, covering up your state-of-the-art airliner with duct tape like Bubba from the Get Her Done YouTube channel is not a good look for Boeing. Oh, and if there really is a Bubba and a Get Her Done YouTube channel, I apologize. Okay, and now I have something kind of special. And this truly is a first for me. And don't worry, it's not a commercial, but I think you'll enjoy it. You know, they say you never forget your first one. And this is Jill. And yes, she is my very first one. No, not that kind of first one. Come on, this is a family show. But Jill is my first ever long distance dedication request. For some reason, some of you seem to think at times my voice reminds you of broadcasting legend Casey Kasem. And while I'm flattered, others have said I remind them of a robot communist, which is probably closer to the truth. But I'll take my compliments where I can get them. But since Jill says her fiancé is one of those that say I remind him of the famous DJ, she decided to do something special for him. You see, Jill is engaged to this man, Mark Mooney. And I recently received an email from Mark's fiancé, Jill. And Jill says Mark is a huge fan of my channel. In fact, she said we watch your videos before bed when they're released. She says Mark is a pilot and he uses your videos to share techniques and information about the field of aviation to broaden my knowledge. Well, Mark's 40th birthday is coming up on October 7th and she wanted to surprise him with a video shout out from yours truly. I know, how crazy is that, right? Well, after that kind of flattery, how could I say no? Jill says that Mark is a lover of all things aviation, animals, bonsai, and camping. Mark's been flying for nearly 20 years. And Mark, Jill wants you to know that even though she isn't able to get you a cat or a plane for your birthday, she still can't wait to marry you. How awesome is that? Well, Mark, I've never owned a plane, but I have had three wives and a cat, and at least I still have the cat. No, but seriously, Mark, it sounds to me like you have a real keeper in Jill because she really went out of her way to make this birthday surprise happen. And frankly, I am humbly honored to do it for her and for you. So Mark Mooney, happy 40th birthday from your lovely bride-to-be Jill. And I'll end my first long distance dedication this way. Unless you plan on starting a family soon, make sure you don't leave the rubber on the runway. But do leave your troubles on the ground. As you and your fiance Jill Hornick celebrate your 40th birthday together. So happy birthday, Mark. Oh, and Mark, don't worry about my fee. Jill gave me your Visa card number. Thanks for the new pool. My cat loves it. Nah, I'm just kidding. My cat hates the water. Well, how about that? That was pretty cool, and like I said, I was honored to do it. Well, thanks for hanging around, and that's going to wrap it up for now. Hey, if you've seen duct tape on your plane, let me know down below. And don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and ring the bell. And remember, leave the rubber on the runway and your troubles on the ground. And I will see you next time. In the air. Yeah, this is Maximus.